I did a video on this particular, um, or I talked about this particular FET, a BS-170, very popular part. And uh, I talked about a particular um, data sheet number called the threshold voltage. And we took a look at it here, where it's just one line. It says gate threshold voltage. That's the, uh, they have a particular thing set up at one milliamp and they, they do some voltages and stuff, but that's not really telling you exactly what's going on. So you, you sort of have to go to the, ch to the charts here. And this is really the chart that's, that's of interest here. And this is the threshold characteristic. So as, so regular transistors, bipolar transistors are current, uh, gain devices and, and the FETs are more of a voltage gain device. So uh, this is voltage in versus current out. Okay. So as you increase the voltage on the gate, you will start conducting more and more and more. So the amount of current you're gaining is the amount of conduction you're, you're, you're doing. So you see here, if you have all the way up to from zero volts to two volts on the gate, nothing really happens and around two or three volts, it starts to conduct and uh, then it goes up to maybe one amp here at around five volts or something like that. Okay. And, um, you know, you can reproduce these yourself. You, you, you can test them yourself. You say, Oh, I need to get some instrument controlled things and I need to hook them up and write some software. And now let, let's go back to basics. Let, um, I think one of the things maybe is a disservice on this channel is I do things in a fancy way all the time because I have fancy equipment, but I want to encourage people who don't have any money, don't have any equipment to go ahead and play with electronics also. And so we're going to reproduce this curve with very, very cheap, uh, a uh, very, very cheap setup. Okay. So let, let's sit, take a look at that. All right. So this is the FET that we're going to test. And so we're going to have to input some voltage and you say, Oh, I need to get a power supply so I can vary it. No, just get yourself a, a potentiometer and hook it up between 10 volts and, and ground. And as you turn the knob, you can change the voltage here on the gate. So this is our input uh, voltage change, right? And then, oh, I need to have my uh, current meter or whatever. No, we're just going to measure the voltage across 10 ohms. So if we have 10 volts and we just ground this side of the resistor, we're going to have 10 volts across 10 ohms. Well, that's one amp. So it's set up to have a maximum of one amp. So we're not going to blow up anything. Okay. But we will have one amp going through 10 ohms, which is 10 watts. Okay. So let's go ahead and hook this up and then we're going to measure, um, gate voltages and voltage across the resistor. And we're going to make this graph. We're going to vary the gate voltage and then we're going to see how much current, which is how much voltage is across this, um, across this uh, resistor here. So let's take a look at my setup. So here's the setup. We have a, uh, a 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor that I pulled out of my junk bin. All right. And uh, so I have that here. Here's the device under test the little FET. And then here's my potentiometer that I can turn and uh, put any voltage I want onto the, uh, onto the gate. So we're going to have to be able to measure these things. Now, it doesn't really matter if you have a cheap voltmeter or expensive voltmeter. It doesn't really matter for this test. A cheap one would work just fine. Um, I just have this nice one here on the bench. So we'll just use that because it photographs well. And I can push the button here and let it photograph well. Okay, great. So let's uh, go here and see where we're going to measure. We're going to always be referenced to ground. So we'll put the, the ground lead here. Now we're going to put this one on the, uh, the gate. Okay. So we're measuring the gate voltage. And right now we have zero volts on, on, on the, uh, on the gate voltage. And if I turn that little potentiometer, you can see that I can put uh, one volt, two volts. So I can change the voltage by turning this little, this little potentiometer down here. Right? So, so we're going to, uh, turn on a particular voltage. Okay. So let's say, let's say we have, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, in a half volt steps. Okay. So we're going to put in a half volt. All right. Now I'm going to change my voltmeter. I'm going to measure, uh, I'm going to measure 
the uh, other side of the resistor. I know this side of the resistor is always 10 ohms. I've adjusted it so it's always 10 ohms. So here on this side we're 10 ohms. And uh, do I have a little bit of glare there? I guess it's not too bad. Um, and on the other side of the resistor it's also 10 ohms. So if I had 9 volts here that would mean we would have 1 volt across the resistor. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so right now we have 10 volts. So I'm going to write this down as we make this measurement. So 0.5 volts, we have 0 ohms, or we have 10, uh, 10, uh, 10 volts, sorry. Um, all right, so now I'm going to uh, go to 1 volt. All right, and 1 volt we have still 10, so we're not conducting yet. All right, a volt and a half. volt and a half, we have nothing, hasn't turned on yet. Let's take a look. Two volts, two volts, and that's not conducting yet. All right, let's go to two and a half volts, two and a half volts. Ah, two and a half volts, we're starting to conduct. 2.5, we're getting 9.9, .9, which means we have 0.1 volts across that resistor, okay? Now let's go here to 3 volts, and now we'll measure that. We're getting 9 volts, okay, so 3, we get 9.1, which means we have 0.9 volts across the resist, uh, resistor. Right. And we'll go here to 3.5 volts. 3.5 volts, we have 7.9. All right, let's go a little bit further. Four volts, we have 6.9, I'll call it seven, 7.0. All right. And at four and a half volts, we have six, and let's go to five volts, and we'll stop there. I smell something, I smell that resistor getting hot. <laughs> so at five volts, we have 5.45. Okay, let's turn this off. My resistor is getting, getting hot, somebody's getting hot. All right, so we've made our measurements. All right, that was fun. So let's come back over here. All right, so I have a bunch of uh, measurements over here. You can't read my writing, but that's okay. So we're going to graph it so everybody can understand it. Okay, so we're going to come here and uh, zero. And this will be one, two, three, four, five volts on our gate. So this is the gate, gate to source. And uh, then this will be, uh, this will be volts. All right. And that'll be volts across 10 ohms. All right. So at zero, we have zero. At one, two, three. When we got up to two and a half, we had, uh, let's see, we had 0.1 we had 0.1, so it was right there. At 3, we had 0.9. 3.5, we had uh, 2.1. At 4, we had 3. At 4.5, we had 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And at five volts, we had, oh, we had four. I'm sorry, we had four. One, I have to subtract, I had to subtract it from 10. One, two, three, four. What was here? At five, we had uh, five and a half, okay. So here we have this curve, okay? We've just, we've just plotted this curve, right? And that's volts, all right? So, we have 10 ohms, okay? So if we want to know the current, 
okay? Uh, volts equals IR, current equals volts divided by R, okay? So we have volts and we have R. So if we have, uh, let's say, uh, six, six volts, that's four volts across the resistor. So we have four divided by 10, okay? It's 0.4. So we could just change this to, to 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and we could just amps, okay? So now we have amps versus uh, gate voltage, which is exactly the curve that we have here, all right? So like, like I said, at, uh, at around 5 volts, we have about 0.4 current, and at 5 volts here, okay, we have about, ah, about, about 0.5 on their graph. So they're, they're, you know, each device is, is, is different. So there we go. We have created our own graph, all right, with just some paper and a voltmeter that hopefully you all have. Okay, you can get these for get a real, you can get really nice ones for twenty dollars. I mean, really nice ones for twenty dollars, and then uh, just some stuff laying around the bench, right? These are all came out of my uh, junk bins, right? I had had an old uh, resistor, and here's the transistor I wanted to measure. Um, and uh, find a potentiometer somewhere, and away you go. So yeah, so don't be afraid to go in the garage, do some things, have some fun. Uh, you don't need fancy test equipment, you don't need to spend much money, and uh, you can start to learn the uh, transfer characteristics of FETs. Uh, another graph that you might want to try to create uh, is look, looks something like this, which is pretty common, and that is that you hold the uh, gate at a particular voltage. So this line here is the gate is being held at five volts. And then we're gonna vary uh, the uh, voltage and uh, it will be a function of current. So voltage and current. And you can draw these graphs, which is like a curve tracer. You can just do it by hand. Uh, all of these graphs you can do by hand. It's just more work.